All right, guys, the truck dr just dropped off both of the bikes. Uh, I got two of them, one for my fiance and one for me. Hopefully, they're going to do good. Uh, but this is the, I guess this is the first video about the uh, 125cc Teo Teo uh, $500 bikes. So you can get these on Amazon. They're like 500 bucks with like $200 shipping. Uh, I got them from a place out in Texas. I saved on shipping because obviously they put them both on the same pallet. Um, so it ended up being a little bit better for me. But uh, yeah, if everything's good, I will definitely link their description or put their link in the description. If everything's bad, I don't know. I, I can't really blame the the guy who sold them to me because it's just a company um i don't know uh, my expectations are low uh the reviews are high so we'll see if maybe i get somewhere in between All right, so I got it together. I peeled all the uh, the stuff off the plastic, so it shows like the graphics. Um, basically, you have to put the back tire on. You have to put the brake lever on. Um, or no, you don't have to put the back tire on. You put the front tire on, the brake lever. Um, you have to put the back shock bolt in. The shock is bolted up top, just not in the bottom. You got to put that bottom bolt on. And then you have to put the handlebars on. And uh, it was all pretty self-explanatory it does come with like a manual but i didn't even really read that i just kind of flipped through it and uh just put it together so the front brakes work the back brakes work uh clutch feels like it, it is engaging right here see it's actually pulling the uh the little lever down there so that that's doing its deal i just checked it it does have the break-in oil and in the manual and also when the guy emailed me after i bought these he said that break-in oil is literally it's done he's like you can start it up on that oil but please don't ride on it because uh these come with like a 12 month engine warranty he's like the number one rate of failure is because people leave that oil in there and then run it he's like that oil is basically a shipping oil he's like drain that oil out and put some fresh oil in there and then you're good to go so uh yeah it's got like a little fatty exhaust tip on it uh adjustable shock in the rear it looks like this one's pretty much all the way up um I'll show you guys uh, me sitting on it and kind of bouncing around and kind of show you that the seat height the seat height isn't bad. Um, obviously, it's not a full size bike, but uh, I'm you know five eleven, five ten, and some change, and it fits me. I'll be able to ride it around and and have a good time on. It.
Alright guys, so I didn't get a formal outro for the video. I figured I'd just record it when I get back in my office, but um, the, the bikes actually run awesome. I did have to adjust the carburetor a little bit. Uh, they seemed to idle really low and wanted to cut off, but once I adjusted the, the idle up, it was just a little screw on the opposite side, not the left side, but the right side of the carburetor, the opposite of what I, your, where your choke is. Um, just turned it a little bit and idle came up. I, I did adjust it while it was running so I could actually hear it change. Um, and they've been running awesome. Uh, I changed the oil out of them. Uh, it also came with uh, an extra spark plug for each bike. Um, in like the little user manual it says change the spark plug after, I, I don't know, 50 hours or something like that. I, I don't know. I'm going to ride them, have a good time with them. Um, I did go over and check it. The front wheel was loose. Uh, or I mean the rear wheel nut was loose so I tightened those down I did have to loosen one of the bikes chains was super tight but if you want to see some more content on the cheap bikes or the you know the $500 Amazon bikes please comment down below let me know what you want to see and um, if you don't then we'll just go back to regular Honda stuff and and cars so later guys have a good night adios